Hi everyone and welcome back and here we are going to talk uh, about some more examples to understand more on the testing. So as I already explained I have two projects one is a, a react javascript one is a react typescript and I am showing you a couple of examples like how to mock axios how to mock a particular module how to write the test cases for the forms a lot of examples I am covering. So the whole idea of all these videos I can merge all these together the whole idea is to make you comfortable with writing the test cases. Now you can write the test case for the router, for the custom hook, for the predefined hook and for the async scenario in your component. Okay, so in this example we will take a look on to two different set of examples. First is the react hooks which are being used in the forms. Okay, we are writing a simple form. So here I can just say, or I will just copy and paste it. And what we are going to do here is test hooks. So this is the file and I will just rename it as forms.js. Okay. And what we are going to do is uh, we are going to write a simple hooks like use state hook and we will write a simple form. Okay. I will just uh, rename it to hook forms and let's get rid of all these things ok so we are going to have a huge state to maintain the values whatever user is typing so it is value change set value change Okay, and we are using good state hook. This is initialized with empty value. So this is value change and we are doing set value change. Okay, there is one more. So there is one more huge state hook we are using for value submit. QBMIT submit okay and we have set value submit and this is also in slides with empty okay and what it is returning is it is returning a JSX and this that we are going to play with in the test cases okay so it's like a div there is a closing div and what we are going to do here is inside that we are going to render all our stuff so inside we have a two input text field let's say one button right so what i'm doing is i'm just opening a form okay here i'm going to use this data test id equal to form and this is going to help me in testing this component and on submit i have i'm calling handle submit so i have input text field and one button okay so this is my form and this is the form closing and inside the form we have two input text field okay so we can i can just directly copy from my example set this is my simple jsx okay on change we are doing calling handle change what handle change will do handle change will update the value whatever user is typing it's a const handle change like the same basic example of react hooks using text fields so here we can call set value change i'm copying set value change and we are going to do is here we are getting event object so i'm going e dot target dot value you can write the same thing in a one line like on change here you can directly call this and then we have another method is const handle submit let's write this method and what we are doing is once you are doing handle submit here also we are getting the event object so first thing is event dot prevent default to stop the propagation and then what we are doing is set value submit this we are calling 
set value submit and we are passing e dot target dot text one dot value or you can just directly just pass the value change because this holds your current input text field value and then export default puts forms or if you want to play around with exios let's say i'm doing exios dot post and i have some url like http example.com here i'm passing the body which is uh, okay value this is the property i'm passing value change and there is a dot then i mean our api call is successful then i have another state which i will be toggling and here i'm calling set success initially this is initialized with false and here i can see set success is true and whenever the success is true i want to play with this so what i'm doing is if success is true i have one spent tag and i can give data test id then uh, this autocomplete really doesn't work sometimes okay data test id and here i'm passing spend so this is my spend tag closing this inside this i can just print some value okay so whenever there is a success so we have to put a ternary operation here when there is a success print this otherwise do nothing right and here print the value whatever you have entered in the text field value change right so we have to wait until you click on to the submit button and here also you can to just play around you can disable the submit button once until unless you don't have a value in the text field okay simple example we have now what we want to do is we wanted to test this example and to test this example we are using axios now we have dependency on axios so we have to mock this also so we use just create a copy of this instead of test axios it will be it the name will change test form dot test dot js okay so now we are going to write the test cases for the form but we can use the existing stuff like before each we wanted to mock the post api call and what we are saying is okay just promise dot resolve and return nothing because we are not dependent on the data we are not playing around with the data whatever you want to return just return from the post call okay after each cleanup and here we are going to write form and here we are going to play the the test cases for the form so in form we see a lot of different things there is a form there is a text fields right so first of all we will import this oops forms and let's start rendering it I mean you can change the description and all testing form rendering blah 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 and here we are rendering this and from rendering we can get the get by text get by label text because we have label also this we are getting from the container and then we can inspect you already know get by text support regex first of all remove all this stuff because we are not writing these now okay get by text so what we can do is we can expect uh get by text and here we can pass the regex regex is i'm looking for change is so it should have text content 
x content dot to be now i'm talking about change text field here so if you just take a look onto the test form i'm looking for the text change let's see where we have this particular field also print the values which are coming from the react state so let's do it here React state, whatever the value we are getting. So we are looking for this particular text change, which is available here. Okay. So we are just using this test case. We are just making sure that this is in the document. The label having text is in the document. Now we can assert a couple of more things like uh, we can trigger a fire event and then this label will change, right? Because the value will appear, whatever you are typing in the text field. So we can just call fire event fire event dot change to a particular node okay and we are doing a change event on to get label by text get by label text and the label text was if you see the form again what is the label text for the input text field label text okay this is html for text one input text okay this is the label text using which we can get the input text field okay so this is the input text field this is the element we got and we are going to pass the event so here event will be target and i mean target dot value and here we are passing values text right so this is how we are triggering the event and now that input text field will have some value appeared in it right and now we can see is we can say is once you have entered something in the text field this will not be equal to the change only so it is dot not to be okay this is our simple test case what we were doing in this test case is we checked if you haven't typed anything then the value will be inside this label will be changed but when you type something you triggered the change event then the change value will change now we can also check about the submitting the form okay so test form test form submission here we are just checking we are rendering get by text and here we can just get get by test id get by test id because in the form we have given one test id so here get by text submit value now let's see where do we have submit value now here we are inspecting about the submit value so initially value submit will be empty and then when you type something in the text field and when you click on to submit button we are calling handle submit and this handle submit method is setting the value whatever you have entered in the text field okay so let's see this test form and we can do a same kind of setup here instead of this uh, it will have a different thing it will have a submit value instead of change so we are looking for submit value okay it should be in the document and then we can trigger get by test id here we can trigger the form submission based on what test id we have a form as a test id and we are going to click on submit we don't need to pass the event object it should be optional i think because we are setting up whatever that you have entered inside a text field okay so get by text submit value here it is submit value we are looking for this label and we found that it look like this and then we triggered a submit event so it's it's not a on change or on click it is submit and once the submit is done this text value will not be equal to this simple assertion because when you submit it this will change so you can see is dot not to be
right so this is a simple uh, hoops testing we have done and what it is teaching us okay like uh, how we can render it how we can inspect a particular label the initial value you change something you clicked on to this you submitted the form you entered a text field value then what should be the new value here we are doing a fire event here we are doing a fire event change event and here we are doing submit fire event okay now another example i want to talk about is the previous example only like how you can do the exios test okay here also once we are submitting the form we are doing the submission and that we are doing here in the exios.post right and what we can do here is when you make an api call when you do the form submit we are doing set success true and whenever the success is true we are getting this span tag right so let's say we can do this one thing here is initially we are showing loading whenever you are not submitting it is showing loading and whenever you submit the form button or you can see is not submitted right but when you click on to this submit button success will be become true and you will show that particular value change here in the span tag so we can use the same set of same kind of setup here which we were doing earlier in the exios so what we can do is we can actually wait for this particular not submitted to be removed when you click on to the submit and then we can just assert something okay here we are talking about form submission you triggered the form submission i can do this async thing wait for element to be removed get by text and i'm just looking for this get submitted get by text we can actually pass this inside a regex or we can simply pass not submitted so i'm looking for this okay i'm waiting until this is removed and once this is removed we should be able to we should be able to see the when the success is true here you can see once the api call is done we are already mocking that this will show you the uh, the value which you have entered in the text field inside a span tag okay so let's see that again so here in the, the test id that by test id span to be defined and the value of text content Okay, here the text content will be. Text content will be the the value which you have entered in the text field. So currently there is no value, so it should be empty. Let's see. Because what you did is you open the form and you just click down to the submit. That's it. Initially value is empty. okay now what we did is on the submit we are calling exios and we already did the mocking for the exios dot post so in the test case in your code here it is whenever you submit the form we are mocking this and we are saying is exios dot post is successful set success is becoming true and if it is becoming true then it is re it rendering this span tag with the value you have entered in the text field so you can write one more test case where you can actually enter something in the text field and then wait for this okay what you will do is uh, you will also write something inside a text field so we can use the existing test case which we have written okay i i uh, copied that the different place I'm not talking about this test case test form we are doing lot of things but it should be smooth let me just write this and then i will explain about this okay so here is the form first what we will do is we will go one by one we will enter something in the text field so we can actually copy the whole thing here it is typing something inside a text field then clicking on to the submit button 
what we can do is here get by text and hooks form so here is the quick summary of our tests so we wrote one component test form dot uh, js okay it was just a simple form and we added a xios call on the form submit okay we added uh, the test ids also just to grab these particular nodes like test id here test id here on the form submit and what we are doing the test cases are very simple as we are using xios we also need to mock it so what we are doing is xios dot post we are doing mocking for that and then once you submit the form you can check that xios dot post has been called or has been called with okay here the initial form rendering we are checking okay the label was only change earlier and when you type something in this then the label will not be equal to change same for the submit button and then we are combining both okay you are you are typing something in the text field so you are triggering change event i did some few mistakes in the uh, earlier like fire events should be imported from the react testing library not from react testing library form event user event it it is already there in the testing library react like here i have to import the fire event okay so what we are doing is you uh, first of all you are doing a change event and you are doing a change event on to this node which you are getting by test id so on the text field we have a te data test id text one and you are passing this value event dot target dot value and then uh, you are doing a sub form submission and then form submission is making an exios call which is async so what we need to do is wait for this element to be removed we are waiting that till this not submitted label is removed from the ui from the component and then we can check so what will happen if you see here test form dot js once this is removed the value change will appear inside a span tag with the test id span right this is what we can inspect and we can also check that exios dot post has been called or not so this is what we are doing once this is done so it will be done once the exios call is done and we will have the success true and it will get the span tag text content will be the text which you entered in the text field okay and then you can also ins uh, do the checking okay exios dot post has been called has been called with has been called with uh, here we are passing the value also so value is the the same value which you are passing in the text field okay now all the test case should pass first of all we are checking that exios dot post has been called and has been called with with is just an argument which you are passing in the exios dot post so i'm passing the url and the payload payload contains the value field and with the value is nothing but the text field property okay so this is a basic thing now we have also talked about exios i created another example to discuss the same aspect and what do i have here is i have a text exios component and inside a text exios component i wrote a simple custom hook i will just show this as a demo part because we have already covered lot of things here we are doing get post and this use post api is returning the post so it's nothing but a custom function we can call it as a custom hook okay this is a huge state and inside a use effect that will be called triggered and we are making api call and returning the posts same posts i have received here so here the only logic which we are going to test is initially when the component renders it should show the loading but when there is async api call triggers then it should start showing these titles and we also need to mock this api right because currently it is calling this api but in the test case we have to mock the api call so that we are doing here first of all we created a mocks exios.js it is mocking the exios.get and here what we are doing is we are mocking it so this is the post simple sample mock data you can say like you are doing the integration with your actual apis you can create mocks folder and there you can write these mock json which you are going to receive from the apis and here exios.get and here i am actually spying on to this get method and i'm saying is once the promise is resolved 
I am going to give you the post array inside data dot data. Okay. So here, if you see test axios, we are getting the same value. We destructured data means we received data and then inside that we have a data property. And same thing we are doing here. Axios dot get we got the data. Now, once the initially it is rendering, right? Once initially it is rendering, what will happen is it will show the loading. That is true because initially component loads, there is there will be API call will be triggered using use effect, and then here we are doing this because we have to wait for this loading to be removed to check if the API call has been triggered or not, right? So what we are doing is wait for the element to be removed. We are checking, we are waiting till this loading text is removed. That will make sure that now we have the data appeared on the screen. And same thing we are doing here. First of all, we are checking is once the loading disappeared, then we should get the test ID. And here if you go here, what is the test ID? Here is the dynamic test ID we are assigning, same as the title. So there is a test IDs will be test, test one, test two. And here we are doing is we are getting the test ID if it is defined, and then we can check exios dot get has been called, exios dot got has been get has been called with. That's it. If this test case is passing, that means we are able to mock exios successfully, and we are able to wait till exios call is over, right? So this is just a basic thing. Here we haven't done the test cases for the custom hook, which we have created in the use test exios. There is nothing but use post API is a custom hook. Okay, so in the now coming examples, we are going to take a look on some advanced examples. Okay, how you can uh, test the hooks like custom hook you have created a upper case, use exios, use fetch, all these custom hook you have created for your functional component. Okay, let's see in the next couple of more videos and then we will wrap up the testing with the jest and react testing library with the react. Because I will be publishing these examples on the GitHub and you can take a look. These are many examples. You will, as much as examples you will do, you will get more understanding.